Okay, this is the ingredients that we're using for our pottage that is peasants. We've got carrots, garlic, onions, onions. we got leek, we've got apples, we've got potatoes, and we've got celery, we've got some thyme, and we've got some bay leaves. Now, We've got a few fast facts about peasants. Poor people ate mainly rye or barley. Then they made barley into bread and sometimes pancakes or pizza. Every meal included barley. And peasants grew as much as they could. Carrots, cabbage, garlic, berries, nuts, leeks, spinach, parsley. They also grew herbs like basil, rosemary, bay leaves, and thyme. Peasants, their only sweets were berries, nuts, honey. All these things were collected in the woods. And their pottage, what we're making, was flavored over bread. Now let's make it. Ooh. A while back, we were, uh, we added our chicken to some chicken stock and some broth and some water and it looks like it's almost done. Now in just a few moments we're going to add a bunch of stuff to it to make it taste really awesome. And this is going to be our filling of our play on a blackbird pie which we'll tell you about later. Go. This is the chicken. That's about to be. That's about to be the pie. <laughs> yeah. Right now. What are we doing? We're, We're about, about to, to grind, grind our almonds. So in here, so we can make a delicious. Anna, it doesn't go with that. Thing. Dangerous. Dangerous. Okay. So as you see. The pottage has boiled and now we reduce the heat and it's going to simmer. off our product we added cinnamon cinnamon we added cloves cloves we added nutmeg nutmeg we added some chicken broth that we got from our cooked chicken chicken broth we added almonds almonds and some salt and pepper and this is the finished product for chicken pot pie it looks very good it looks ugly, but it's really good. This is a strawberry pudding. Well, it's not done yet, but we can put strawberries and and white wine and water. And it looks like that. We're gonna put it. And in. this this dish is for the rich. Um, what people ate depending on how rich they were. Medieval diets lacked vitamins A, C, and D, were not high in calories, making the regular drinking of ale necessary. Okay, now over here we have a mixture we mix of it. honey and this good stuff. What is that? Powdered deuce. Powdered it's a deuce. spice that was used in lots of medieval recipes, and it's a mixture of cinnamon. Nutmeg, ginger, sugar, and cloves. When you mix that all together, 
it equals powdered juice. And we mix this with honey. And this is gonna be, be a part of our pudding in a little while. And last but not least, last but not least, Rich ate a lot of bread, but out of, they ate the bread, you remember how the peasants ate the bread out of rye? Well, the rich ate the, their bread out of wheat flour, so it tasted better. The rich also ate a lot of meat, and the medieval diet was somewhat heart smart because it was low in fat and high in fiber. That's good. This, this, <laughs> this is the chicken pot pie. The filling, at least. Um, the story. This is a play on the blackbird pie, which was popular with kings. The the jokers would put real blackbirds, twelve of them, inside a giant pie crust, and then they would amuse it because when it pops up, it would go. This is the poem of the, of the black bird. So this is the poem that goes along with our chicken pot pie, which is actually the black bird pie. And sing the song of sixpence, a pocket full of rye. Four and twenty blackbirds baked in a pie. When the pie was opened, the birds began to sing. Oh, wasn't that a dainty dish to set before the king? The king was in his counting house, counting out his money. The king was in the parlor, eating bread and honey. The maid was in the garden, handing out the clothes. When down came a blackbird and pecked off her nose. 